Hi, welcome back. So, let's uh, continue our discussion. Like what I have said last time, the main challenge here in convection heat transfer, I mean the main challenge in uh, solving this uh, kind of problem is to how to find the uh, value of our heat transfer coefficient h okay so the heat transfer coefficient h is we all know a um, fundamental notion here in heat transfer once again it's our uh, units is in watts per area temperature kelvin or celsius okay uh, actually its value depends on the properties of fluid so value depends on properties of fluids okay that's why um, different um, uh, different conditions and different fluids has a different value of H okay so once again the value of this H depends on the properties of our fluid such as the um, the specific heat specific heat what else the density uh, what else the thermal conductivity um, the um, aside from this we have the the uh, the uh, flow regime it's, it is either a um, laminar laminar flow or turbulent turbulent so this is the uh, flow regime of your fluid it is a laminar or is it a turbulent and also the value depends on the uh, geometry the geometric aspect of the system okay see so, so the, the geometry of the system so this uh, factors um, uh, I mean the value of H depends on these factors the property of fluids the flow regime and the geometry of the system okay so I have here some approximate values or magnitude of the uh, coefficient of convective heat transfer H or the uh, heat transfer coefficient for uh, various applications so this is only the approximate approximate value okay So, uh, if we have a natural convection, natural convection, uh, our uh, fluid is gas, the value or the magnitude of H is 10. Okay. Also, if we have a uh, natural convection, convection uh, I mean uh, your uh, fluid now is liquid then the value or uh, approximate value of your H is 100 okay if we now have a uh, flowing gas the value ranges from 50 to 100 okay. now if we have a uh, flowing um, liquid flowing liquid 
with uh, low viscosity the value ranges from 1000 to 5000 okay and uh, approximately if we have a uh, flowing liquid high below high viscosity we have 100 to 500 h or uh, watts per square meter k okay So from the um, from this uh, given table, the approximate um, order of magnitude h or the approximate value of uh, the convective heat transfer, it can be seen that um, by natural uh, natural convection, the natural convection are generally much lower, right, than those than those um, uh, than those forced convection okay so so that is the um, the uh, approximate value of the H okay and once again we can notice here that the natural convections are um, I mean ha have a uh, much lower value than this uh, first convections okay now to determine the C transfer coefficient because that is only an approximate value there are generally five methods available okay for the evaluation okay so we have methods so one we have the what we call the dimensional analysis combined with experiments That is uh, one of the methods. We have the dimensional analysis combined with experiments. Also, we have exact mathematical solutions. So another method is through exact mathematical solutions of the boundary layer equation. Okay. The third um, method is through the approximate analysis. Approximate analysis of the boundary layer equations. by integral methods also we have the what we call the analogy between heat and momentum transfer and lastly we have numerical analysis or modeling with computational fluid dynamics or the CFD method. Okay. So this um, are uh, the general five methods available for the evaluation on how we can determine H or the heat transfer coefficient. Okay. And remember that uh, no single method can solve all the problems because um, uh, each of these 
uh, each of one has limitations and restrict uh, its scope of application. So, uh, in our course, we will uh, uh, use dimensional analysis using empirical correlations, okay, to determine the value of H. Okay, so that is why I am. Um, I am uh, saying last time that the main challenge here, though we have a, a very simple uh, equation or um, uh, yeah equation uh, to find the value of our Q for the heat transfer uh, or the heat flux, but the main challenge is to find the uh, value of our H. Okay. So, though we have these uh, many methods in our course, we will use the dimensional analysis um, using the um, uh, empirical correlations, okay? So, using the uh, experiments of some uh, researchers. Okay, so on the next video, we will can, um, um, I mean, I will introduce to you the what we call the non-dimensional numbers because uh, those uh, non-dimensional numbers will help us realize on how we can come up with the value of our age okay so see you on our next video